Well, hi there, everybody, and good morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski here, and we have been anticipating today for quite a while. Spring is back. In fact, a little summer-like out there for some of you, but we are going to see a good range in temps today, which we'll cover here in just a bit here. Now, there is no severe weather on the horizon here over the next uh, several days to come, but we continue classes today, one in the uh, central part of the state here, at least uh, from the Hastings National Weather Service. That is up in Howard County at the Elber Elba Community Center. That class starts at 6.30, and then the other class, this is from the North Platte National Weather Service. This will be up in Custer County at the Ansley Fire Hall. Now, this is an advanced class put on by the North Platte National Weather Service office. And I don't know much about the advanced classes. I've never attended one before. I'm just assuming you're kind of getting a little more uh, information than what you would just normally get at one of those uh, uh, normal classes that you see around the area. So uh, because I don't know much about information, if you are interested in going, there is some contact information at the North Platte National Weather Service website, weather.gov, and then just click on the North Platte area and you'll find more information there. Uh, at the top of their screen, they have a, a tab for their spotter classes. You can go there, there is a contact. So anyway, that class does start at 7 o'clock this evening. Now on to current weather as a warm front pushes eastward. We're going to start off with mostly sunny skies. Clouds will enter the picture later today. It will become partly cloudy. Uh, nice surge in temperatures, although again a little cooler to the east and northeast where temperatures will be stuck in the 60s. Lots of 70s and even some 80s out there. Low and mid 80s. Most, most likely out west you have a trough sitting there in the central part of the state and behind that trough Winds are going to kick in out of a westerly direction out west, and they're actually going to be very strong up around 20, 25 miles per hour. Gusts could be up over 30 miles per hour today. Uh, so because of that, there is high fire danger in the western parts of the area, basically from around Lexington to Beaver City westward. But Lexington, Beaver City, Thedford, Valentine westward. Red flag warnings are in place for today because of that high fire danger. It's also going to be much warmer in those locations thanks to that west wind uh, up into the low and mid-80s. So with the, those high temperatures, low dew points, very low relative humidity levels are expected in those locations. Heading into tonight, a cold front comes through. We'll be looking at partly cloudy skies. Temperature's not bad overnight, but it will be a cooler day tomorrow. Still not bad for this time of the year. 50s up north, 60s for everybody else. Low and mid-60s around the Tri-Cities. Some early clouds will lead to more sunshine later in the day. A bit of a breeze out of the north. Highs later on today, anywhere from the uh, mid-60s in Albion to around 80 in Broken Bow. Now, one thing I'm going to mention, there's kind of a caveat to these temperatures, this forecast, and we've had it for many days now. We're going to see a wide range in temperatures, so it can be a matter of 20, 30 miles where you could see a bit, big range in temperatures, which makes forecasting difficult. So I could be off easily by five degrees in many locations today. Uh, otherwise, we're going to see a wind out of the south become more northwesterly later today at around 10 to 20 miles per hour, so a little bit breezy. Strongest winds will be out west as they'll be starting off light, but then become west-northwesterly at around 15 to 25 miles per hour. Low and mid-80s for high temperatures later on today. Uh, mid 70s to mid 80s in the south. Winds may not be quite as breezy in these locations. Uh, otherwise, starting off mostly sunny, becoming partly cloudy. Mostly sunny could become partly cloudy later in the day. A little cooler, but still not too bad out there. Mid 60s to low 70s out towards the east. So a little cooler the next couple of days, a little breezy as well. Uh, mostly sunny skies still anticipated. And then Sunday does look to be the warmest day. This is where we're going to see widespread warmth. Upper 70s, low to mid 80s for many. In fact, I do think there is the possibility of upper 80s in southwest Nebraska. And then as we get into next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, a little cooler, somewhat on the damp side out there. A slight chance of rain on a breezy Monday. Highs in the mid-60s. Most of the stronger winds on Monday will be early in the day, especially late Sunday night and into Monday behind a cold front. Best chance of moisture comes in Monday night, a chance of rain and maybe some snow if it gets cold enough there late Monday night. Tuesday, if we see moisture, the best chance would be in the morning, a little light rain or snow possible. Not as good of a chance in the afternoon. And then Tuesday night, another slight chance of some rain or snow if it gets cold enough. Wednesday, more than likely looks dry. We'll start to warm it up a little bit. As you look down the road a bit beyond Wednesday, because these chances of moisture don't look like the very significant precipitation as we get into early next week. But a, uh, what could be a stronger storm system does look like it has potential to come through towards next Thursday and Friday, especially Thursday. So this may be the first of what could be a series of storm systems that brings many chances of moisture towards the end of the month. That would certainly be some good news. I think we can all look forward to that. There are some signs down the road, at least a weather pattern change and again, trending towards wetter weather, which would be very, very welcome. So there you go. There is your forecast. Again, a lot to look forward to in the week ahead and maybe even longer, especially when we're talking about maybe some moisture and chances increasing down the road here just a bit. So until next time, I'm meteorologist Travis Klineski, and I hope you enjoy your Thursday.